In the vast expanse of the Atlantic Ocean, roughly equidistant from Brazil and the coast of Africa, lies a point of profound cartographic significance, a place both real and unreal. A digital phantom with a tangible presence in the world of data, Null Island. Located at the precise intersection of the equator zero latitude and the prime meridian zero longitude, Null Island isn't an actual landmass.1. It's a buoy, a weather station officially named Sol Buoy, but it's more widely known for its role as the default location for geocoded data errors. 2. It's a place where digital ghosts congregate, a symbolic island in the sea of information. The concept of Null Island arose from the practical necessities of modern mapping and geographic information systems GIS. As digital mapping became ubiquitous, so did the inevitable errors in data entry and processing. When latitude and longitude coordinates were missing, incorrectly entered as zeros, or otherwise corrupted, mapping software needed a default location to place these erroneous data points. The intersection of zero and OE became the default, giving birth to the conceptual island. While the name Null Island has gained widespread use, it's not an officially recognized geographical feature in the traditional sense. It's a cartographic convention, a digital placeholder. The name itself plays on the concept of null values in computer science, representing the absence of data. The island's fictional existence was solidified with its inclusion in OpenStreetMap, a collaborative, open-source world map, which even jokingly depicts it with a one-meter square island marker and the flag of Null Island, a white flag with a black zero in the center. The actual physical presence at this location is the Sol Buoy Station 13000, part of the Ocean Observatory's initiative OI. This buoy, maintained by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA and other organizations, collects meteorological and oceanographic data, contributing to our understanding of weather patterns, ocean currents, and climate change. Three, ironically, this real-world scientific instrument, designed to gather accurate data, sits at the very spot that has become synonymous with data errors. This buoy is a crucial component of the prediction and research moored array in the Atlantic Pirata. System for Parada is a network of moored buoys in the tropical Atlantic Ocean established through a collaboration between Brazil, France, and the United States. 5NOAA plays a vital role in this international effort, contributing to the maintenance and data collection of the Parada Array. 6. The data collected by Parada buoys, including the Sol Boy at Null Island, is essential for Understanding climate variability, Parada data helps scientists study phenomena like the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation Amok and its influence on global climate. 7. Improving weather forecasting, the data provides valuable information for weather models, leading to more accurate predictions, especially for regions affected by Atlantic weather patterns. Monitoring ocean conditions, Parad attracts changes in sea surface temperature, salinity, and other oceanographic variables, providing insights into ocean health and ecosystems. Eight. The OOI, a large-scale science initiative funded by the National Science Foundation NSF, further enhances the data collection capabilities at Null Island.9. The OOI aims to provide sustained ocean observations to address critical questions about the ocean and its role in the Earth's system. Ten the Soul Boy, as part of the OOI network, contributes to this broader effort by providing long-term, high-quality data from a key location in the Atlantic. The history of Null Island, therefore, isn't one of human settlement, exploration, or conquest. It's a history of data management, a reflection of the increasing reliance on digital information in our lives. Its story is interwoven with the development of GIS, GPS technology, the growing volume of location-based data, and the crucial scientific endeavors of organizations like NOAA and the OOI. Through initiatives like Parada, 11 as these technologies have advanced, so has the awareness of Null Island's role as a catch-all for geocoding mistakes. The common uses of Null Island are almost entirely within the realm of data management and error detection. When large datasets containing geographical information are processed, it's common practice to check for an unusual concentration of data points at zero and zero e. 
A large number of points cluster there is a strong indicator of data quality issues, signaling the need for further investigation and correction. This makes Null Island a valuable tool for data cleansing and quality control in various fields, from urban planning and environmental science to logistics and social science research. Who visits Null Island? Not tourists in the traditional sense. The Soul Boy is visited by maintenance crews and researchers who service and collect data from the station, contributing to the vital work of Parada and the OOI. But in the digital realm, countless data points visit Null Island every day. These are the orphan data points, the ones with missing or incorrect coordinates temporarily residing at this cartographic limbo until their true locations can be determined. They are the digital inhabitants of this non-existent island, a testament to the challenges of managing vast quantities of data in an increasingly interconnected world. The story of Null Island is more than just a technical anecdote. It's a reflection of our relationship with data and technology. It highlights the importance of data quality, the challenges of data management, and the unexpected consequences of digital systems. It's a reminder that even in the seemingly precise world of digital information, errors are inevitable, and sometimes those errors lead to the creation of something unexpectedly fascinating. Null Island, the Nong place at the center of the world, serves as a constant reminder of the human element in the digital landscape, a place where data goes to die and where the very concept of location becomes a playful paradox.